My name is Ryan Poliniak. I'm a customer account manager here at Western Computer. I'll be joined by Meher Malki. He's an NAD solution architect here at Western Computer. As far as integrating dynamic CRM to NAD, this is something that was started in NAV 2016. It's been a long time coming. The Dynamics family, of course, includes NAV, several other ERP solutions, and CRM. So it's only natural to have some kind of out-of-the-box integration between the CRM and the ERP applications. Well, what Microsoft has done is they've enabled that ability to see CRM data inside of NAV. Very, very powerful to be able to, for instance, go into CRM and use a price list from NAV when you're creating a sales order in CRM. And when you add that sales order line in CRM, to also be able to see the inventory level, the availability of an item from Dynamics NAV. And then likewise, to see the CRM data in NAV. Extremely powerful, ready to go out of the box, fantastic integration. So what's new with that in NAV 2017 is the ability to synchronize things like assembly items and build material items that you formerly could not synchronize. So they've expanded that and they've made that integration much easier to set up. The improvement in setting up the integration, I think, really goes a long way into making it a better all-around solution. So I'm going to turn it over to Meher to demo that piece for us. Thanks, Ryan. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the improvements around the initial setup of the CRM integration. So here I'm just going to go to the Dynamic CRM Connection Setup. And what we'll find here is that there's this assisted setup section, or function I should say, that really steps you through the entire setup. So here you'll see that there's a wizard that walks you through each individual step of the actual setup itself. Now by and large what this does is it predicts some of the answers and puts the answers in there for you, but it also will go through and make sure you hit every field that's required for the setup in order for that setup to happen. There's been some more fields added to the integration table mappings, giving you some more flexibility, namely around what direction we're looking to synchronize data, if it's unidirectional or bidirectional. And I'd like to do here as well is flip over to the CRM side and show you what Ryan was talking about upon placing a sales order. So here we're going to go ahead and just go to orders. And let's take a look at an order that we've created here. And you'll notice that I have the ability to choose a price list. So this particular price list right here is a Dynamics NAV default price list. You can have a CRM-based price list or allow your sales price table and sales discount tables from within NAV to roll up into a price table in CRM and you can choose that as one of your price schedules within CRM. One other notable thing to mention here on the products or within the lines of CRM, we now have the ability to view the item availability and you can actually go ahead and update that on the fly if you're working on a particular sales order for an extended period of time and you have fast moving inventory, you can go ahead and just click this button to update the availability and what that'll do is it'll bring in the latest availability for this particular item. Great. Thanks for that, Maher. So anybody who uses Dynamic CRM now that's looking at integrating it to NAV, the latest versions of NAV really make that process much more simple, much less costly, much more seamless integration between the two applications. That concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all latest video releases. Thanks for watching.